Hello everyone, this is Magical Witch and I am here to show you guys this awesome spell that you guys can do at home. This is a binding love spell. What you're going to need for this spell, and this is a spell, here goes my phone, my, it's been ringing, ringing, but I'm blessed, thank God, okay, but ignore the background of the phones, okay? Um... This spell is to bind somebody to you, okay? Bind their love, bind them to you and you only, their affection. This is like kind of a binding love spell. It's also a love spell to um, make this person fall deeply in love with you, to make this person be attracted to you and you only. Bind this person to you, their hearts, their love, everything, okay? Okay. What you're going to need for this spell is a wooden stick. This is a toothpick. You can write with this, okay? You're going to need a cinnamon stick. It doesn't have to be this big, okay, guys? It could be smaller than this. You're going to need a red candle, two red candles, okay? You're going to need red ribbon, yarn, string, whatever you have, but in red. You're going to need three bay leaves you're going to need cinnamon you're going to need honey and matches that is all you're going to need for this spell now the first thing we want to do let's put this to the side is we're going to work on our candles okay from the top to the bottom you are going to write the target's name three times on the candle okay from the top to the bottom so i'm just i'm just gonna put for an example john doe january 6 1997 we're gonna do it again and when you're gonna do it Turn it towards you, okay? Turn it around towards you, okay? John Doe, January 6, 1997. And again, one more time. John Doe, January 6, 1997, okay? So you're gonna write the target's name three times on the candle. On top of the target's um, full name and date of birth, you are going to write your full name and your date of birth on top of their names, okay? So, Jane Doe, let's say hers is July 14, 1998. Let's just, for an example. So, on top of, so it's going to look like this. That way you guys can see it. John... Doe, date of birth, January 6, 1997, right? On top of the name, it's going to be Jane Doe, born July, let's say, 14, 1998. On top. You see that? That's what you're going to do on the candle. You're going to write it three times, okay? Three times. The target's name, and on top of the target's name, you're going to write your name three times on top of their names. You're going to do it on both candles, okay? Then you are going to take now your string, and you're going to make, like, you're going to make a loop here, a loop, like making an eight, okay? So one, two, three, four, make sure it's seven. Five, six, hold on, and seven, right? So let's do this again so you guys can see. Hold on. Okay, again, we're going to do the loop first, okay? And now we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Like so, all right? So you're doing like a, like an eight, okay? 
first this candle, then that candle, then this candle, then that, like that, doing an eight, okay? Then you are going to take now, let's twist this up a little bit. You are going to make seven knots, okay? Seven knots. So let's do it like this. Seven knots. So we're gonna do one. And when you're doing this, you are going to speak your target's name. So hold on, because this is coming off. Okay. Make sure that, okay. So make sure that when you do the first knot, you are saying, John Doe, you are binded to me and me only. The second one, you're in love with me. Anything you want to do, but it has to be seven knots with seven of your intentions, okay? You're going to be in love with me. John Doe, you will, you will be attracted to me and me only. That's three. John Doe, your heart belongs to me and me only. Okay? You're going to make seven desires, seven knots. Okay? So here we go. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to say what you want to say. And seven. The rest of this, simply cut it. Don't leave it that long. Right? And then I made this too loose, so try not to make it loose, guys. <laughs> but it's going to look like this, okay? All right? So now we're going to stand this up. I'm going to anchor this because these candles are kind of funny. We're going to anchor them. Like so. Okay, there we go. Now, what you're gonna do with the cinnamon? The cinnamon, you are going to make a circle around your plate. Now make sure that your plate, um, and do it clockwise, okay? Um, your plate is round and is white, okay? Very important. It could be see-through. But make sure that it doesn't have no drawings, no nothing, a plate white candle or um, a clear one if you want. And you're going to make a circle around the candle. Okay. And as you're doing this, you're speaking your intentions as well. John told you will be sweeter to me and me only. You'll be binded to me and me only. I'm coming, my babies. Those are my clients hitting me up. Okay. Um, you'll be binded to me. You will fall deeply in love with me. You will only have eyes for me and me only. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is when you speak your intentions. You'll be sweeter to me. You'll be more lovable to me. Okay? After you do that... As you can see, I don't know, let me put it right here so you guys can see better. You are going to place now your three bay leaves. You're gonna put one on the top like this, two on the bottom. Or you can do it like this. I like to do it like this, hold up. One on the top, two on the bottom. Okay, making a circle as well. Okay, you're going to take your cinnamon stick, you're going to place it in front of your red candles like that, as you can see, okay, and then you are going to take now the honey and you're going to do a circle around it clockwise. You'll be sweeter to me and me only. You'll be binded to me and me only. Your heart belongs to me and me only. 
you know, whatever you want to say, hold on, whatever you want to say, this spell is strong, so that's why there's nobody up in here, John Doe doesn't exist, <laughs> so, Spirit's like, hold on, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing, Magical, what are you doing, it's only to teach the clients, all the customers out there, my subscribers, and you're going to go around it, okay? Now, this is when it's going to fall down, hold on. This is when you speak your intentions, okay? This is where it's very important to visualize this happening, okay? Visualizing this person doing this. Visualizing this person uh, falling in love with you, being more sweeter to you, being binded, can't live without you type shit, okay? <laughs> I mean, this is your spell, right? Your intentions. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to light this up. Making the cross always, lighting it up. And this is when you're going to speak more your intentions, okay? More your intentions, more your intentions. John Doe, you'll be binded to me and me only. You will fall deeply in love with me. Your eyes belong to me. Your heart belongs to me. Your mind, body, and spirit belongs to me. You'll be more sweeter. You will be more lovable towards me. You will fall deeply in love with me. You will be, you can even say you will be obsessed with me. You cannot live without me. You will miss me when you're gone. This is a, the opportunity where you speak your intentions. Okay, speak your intentions. After you speak your intentions, what you're going to do, you're going to let the candle burn all the way down. Let's just say that the candle burn all the way down. I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn it off. I was going to turn it off right now, but I'm going to leave it on. I'll just, let's just pretend it, it turned off. Okay. <laughs> when the candle turns off completely, what you're going to do, you're going to take a mojo bag, okay? And a mojo bag, or it could be a mojo bag in red. This is white, but in red. Or you can take a napkin that is red, okay? Or a cloth that is red anything that has to do with red okay you're going to take everything the remaining of the candle the cinnamon all of this the honey everything you're going to put it there you're going to close it up okay and you're going to bury it where magical where do i bury this in your front yard in your backyard inside a plant in your home you can do that too if you if you live in an apartment or you could simply go outside in a park somewhere and bury it in a trunk of a tree. That's it. Simple. And I guarantee you that you do this, that person will be buying. You will see a difference on this person. And if you see that this person is kind of separating a little bit again, then you redo it again. You keep doing it into how many times you want to do it. But give it time, okay? Don't keep doing this because then you'll regret it later on. Then you're going to be like, I don't know how to undo this magical. How can I did this and how can I undo it? It's too much already. He's too chicle. Chicle means he's too, he's too attached, too attached. Doesn't let you breathe type shit, okay? So make sure that when you do this type uh, of spells, you know what you're doing. And it is what it is, right? I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Those of you who are interested in any of my spells, you can reach me at MagicalWitch777 at gmail.com. That is MagicalWitch777 at gmail.com. I'm sorry, guys. I've been chanting so much last night that my voice is like, <laughs> because I'm, it's dark working, so... I have to get rough. I got to get angry. I got to get mad. So I have to use my voice. And I, ugh, it's ugly. But my voice, uh, I can't. But I'm, I barely did this spell for you guys. So you guys can, I hope you guys understand me. 
better. But yeah, my I know you're gonna. Oh my God, what's going on with Magical? Is she sick? No, babies, I'm not sick. I was chanting hard yesterday, and it's dark working. I'm doing dark work. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, be careful when you do a binding love spell. Um, three times you can do it. That's good. More than three times, it's a problem. Okay? It's going to be a problem. All right? If you're ready for it, that's fine. But if you're not, don't do it more than three times. Um, but only do it when you see that everything was going good. And then you see them, separate, you know, like fading away a little bit. Then you redo the spell again. Okay? Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.